Grad students at UW-Madison say results from a statewide survey show LGBTQ plus youth need more resources in public schools. Darrell Ballard has you covered on why the researchers say they're concerned about a national trend to limit the support that's currently available. Data collected from the most recent Wisconsin Youth Risk Survey found that students who are a part of the LGBTQ plus community, particularly those who identify as transgender or questioning, often feel more safe talking to teachers and staff than their parents. There's not a lot of research that exists in the public that focuses specifically on trans youth using such a widespread sample of student level responses. Approximately 100,000 students responded to the survey, which asked basic questions about their mental health and their well being. That trans students, when they have supports in schools, they can excel. And for me, you know, I really kind of would call on policymakers to keep that in the back of their mind when they're considering different policies that may be passed. The data shows that marginalized youth have been reliant on public school resources as an outlet. It also shows that our public schools are doing a good job creating a safe environment for everyone. I'm told this is something that parents should want to see more of. Well, it's not necessarily that parents aren't showing up or parents aren't doing a good job. Um, what I think that the analysis shows is a strength of public schools, that they're creating safe spaces for kids. Whether or not gender and sexuality should be discussed in public schools has sparked debates among policymakers. Experts tell me they're hopeful more data will show the importance of these resources in schools. Reporting in Madison, Jarrell Ballard, 27 News. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has conducted this survey since 2011. The newest report for 2023 should be released in the coming weeks.